This is part two of Sassy's Arrival to Adoption video diary. In part one, we showed you where she was found. Sassy was home alone because her owner was very poorly in hospital. During this time, neighbors and volunteers were coming in four times a day. She didn't want to be handled, but we had to get her coat off because her leg had got stuck through the neck hole. Then we got started on trying to remove the fleas. She had such a severe infestation. After two weeks of earning Sassy's trust, step by step, and waiting for her owner to return from hospital, we finally got written consent to move her into foster care with her behaviorist, Lucy. Unfortunately, before long, we got the news that her owner had passed away so Sassy officially became a spirit dog. We were able to make her much more comfortable with the help of her groomers Lisa and Molly. As you can see when we bathed her the blood from the flea bites just poured off of her and we just had to shave her, get all the hair off and start from scratch with this flea treatment. We were able to trim her nails which were curling round underneath her feet. Sassy felt so much better when all the fleas were gone. She was finally able to move out of the quarantined area of her foster home into the main part of the house and make friends with the resident dogs. They'd gotten very curious about each other through the glass door. Sassy had veterinary treatment including an ultrasound to make sure she was spayed and medication for an uncomfortable urine infection. If you've been following her story, you may have already seen her video diaries where she's settling into her foster home. That's where part one ended and so much has happened since then. She was being really brave, but she had a lot of hurdles to overcome. You might have seen the video that her behaviourist Lucy made. It's a bit further back on our social media and it goes through a day in the life of Sassy when she first arrived with them. As she grew in confidence, she showed a real sense of adventure. We took her down to our local stables, where she met new people, as well as horses, birds, and also cats. Her foster carer started taking her to the gym, where she met personal trainer Jamie. They formed such a close bond and absolutely loved creating agility courses out of the equipment in the gym. She discovered a lot of new things that she liked. A bit of DIY, sitting in the cars while her carers were working outside. She just loved her visits to Creeksy. When it was time for her to start meeting potential permanent families, we made it as fun as possible and had some meets at the beach. It was a very memorable day, the first time she felt comfortable enough to wear a harness, which is our preferred piece of equipment. She'd reached so many milestones thanks to her foster family, and it was finally time to start the home integration process with the family that she'd chosen to live with permanently. After meeting with them out and about in her favorite places, it was time to go and visit her new family at home to see what she made of it. It's safe to say she had a very good time and she was really comfortable around all members of her new family. She thoroughly enjoyed exploring the house and had a particularly keen interest in her new toy box. Her family showed us all of the lovely walking routes they'd be using together and had a go of what we call the sassy sack, which is a bag that she liked to get into when she's a little bit too tired to walk. The day finally came for Sassy to begin her pre-adoption settling in period. We began the day with a nice walk outside together. We headed back to fill in the foster paperwork and it was time for Sassy to say goodbye to her foster mum. When she followed her new carer eagerly out of the room, we just knew she was going to be okay. Another change in environment did present some challenges, but her new carers were so patient and so kind and helped her settle in at her own pace. After the ordeal of losing her owner and absolutely everything she knew, she started to find her feet again. As the weeks went by, she built up muscles in her back legs, a fitness and stamina, and she no longer asked to be carried when out on a walk. Sassy now spends her days at the stables with the family horse, visiting cafes, and she absolutely loves to paddle in streams at the local woodland. 27 weeks after we first met Sassy, she's now officially adopted, and it's all thanks to everyone who supported her along her journey, as well as her new family, and absolutely everyone who's donated those vital funds. For continued updates on Sassy's post-adoption life, please follow Spirit of the Dog Rescue.